fine. We'll do it. We'll build a million to million house. Well, I don't think just a house is going to do it. Well, then it's a good thing that we're actually going to be building a ranch. <gasps> Come on, y'all. You knew we were going to do this. We're building with the horse ranch pack today. Horses, y'all. Yeehaw. Also, a big thank you to today's sponsor, the EA Creator Network. Thanks, EA. Everybody grab a snack. This is going to be a long one. We should spend what? At least like 100K out here? Easy. We just make it big. That's what you've got? Barn? Big barn. That's a good start. On top of that, we need a house. Got it. House on top of the barn. No. <laughs> Unless. Do not say that. This is a joke. No, no, no. Like, what if the house is connected to the barn? Like, these are horse people. They can't have their horses like a whole yard away. Oh, so like they've added on to the barn throughout the years. Exactly. It really will just be a big barn. I want the house part to have some more oomph, though. Yeah, it needs oomph. Stairs are oomph. What if we add like a porch and then we have an entrance on the second floor? And what goes under there? Would it be crazy? to try and make it up on a hill. You want to try to mess around with terrain tools? Maybe. Who are you and what have you done with my sister? I'm just going to do a rough job here and then we can worry about making it pretty later. And there she is. <laughs> Welcome back. It's good to be here. We had the room to double it, so I doubled it. Big barn just got a whole lot bigger. Maybe too big. Let's add some stuff on it. These new giant windows are speaking to me. What are they saying? They're saying make giant picture windows. I like the language they're speaking. And they're also saying buy ice cream. Can we really get ice cream? Yeah, I'm going to order okay, it right great. now. <laughs> it's time for the star of the pack. Y'all, we got individual shutters. Ah! Look, you can put them wherever you want. Everyone else thinks the star is the horses and we're like, ooh, shutters. <laughs> Don't forget the doors. <gasps> the barn doors. They take it to another level. These really are the shutters of the door world. What are we thinking for siding? What about classic red? Ooh, that is intense. Yeah, I think the siding can stay, but let's go all wood. I like that. I also love that this wallpaper has this normal tone, but also a rustic option. That's really cool. Hear me out giant circle driveway. Stop, it's like a big horseshoe. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> we should call it Horseshoe Ranch. Oh, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. I like that. It's officially later, so I am attempting to shove some rocks into this hill to make it look more rocky. Natural. <laughs> Whatever it is, I actually think it's working. Hey. Well, we still have the back. How is there more to do? I mean, we've got a lot of horse stuff. How about a little training area for them? Yes, but Fancy. The fanciest, obviously. I know we said fancy, but I am adding the horse ball. Why? It just looks so silly, goofy playing with it. I would not deny anyone that. You're probably thinking, what's going on here and why haven't they spent more money? It's time to reveal part of the plan. Ooh, the plan. This isn't just a ranch. It's a home. No. We're also making it a winery. Or a nectary. Nectar is just Sims wine. This is where the money is at. Bougie grape stuff. Except for those vines. Those are free in debug. There is a lot of good stuff in this debug. When were you in there? You're not supposed to be going through that. What? I wasn't supposed to even look? Ooh, I do like that little rundown shed. Now who's looking? <laughs> okay, you started it. This gate. Oh, it's so pretty. It has plants and string lights. This might as well have your name on it. Let's just do some styling on the porches real quick. Yeah, real quick on all nine porches. <laughs> Let's just do a lot of seating. The wood swatches in this pack are the best in the game. Look at the detail, that grain. Look at the pillows. I really want a planter over here. So I'm going to grab this metal bin from Debug. Debug, just wait. But I want to add some legs to this. So I'm going to take a table and size them both down with the left bracket key. I'm going to use the nine key to raise it up. Then just put some pretty flowers in there. And I would like it noted on my record that I am using a pretty expensive table and non-debug flowers. Noted. And you crushed it. It looks great. <laughs> These little straw rugs make me so happy. Items that make stuff look like kind of messed up are their favorites. <laughs> if there's an activity, there's a porch on this house to do it. Easel to paint the gorgeous landscape. Check. Telescope to see constellations at night. Ooh, check. And you might also get hit by a meteor. What? Nothing. Outdoor kitchen. We've got a grill. You adding that made me think of camping foods, which made me think of s'mores, which made me think of a campfire. Which makes me think I know where you're going with this. I'm just making a little fire pit. But you can't have a campfire without campfire songs. Add the fiddle too. I don't have a fiddle. I am pretty sure that violins and fiddles are actually the exact same instrument, but they just like play different types of music. Really? I'm Googling it. Google has confirmed it. Honestly, for $15,000, you can call it whatever you want. Oh, I like adding that jump on this side. This side can be for horses and this this side can be for horsing around, huh? I see what you did there. You liked it. <laughs> no. She liked it. <laughs> we need a statement gate. What does that mean exactly? First you take a gate. Okay, I got to that part myself. And now it needs 
a statement. Oh, some stuff does clip to this. I'm actually thinking we add another horseshoe for the horseshoe ranch. Is that one of those metal signs? Yeah. That's making me so happy. <laughs> Every plant is another simoleon, so I'm gonna go all in. <laughs> it just takes one million pieces of grass care. Well, if I knew it was that easy. Wait, is the outside finally done? Finally. And it's stunning. It is just so pretty. And we spent even more than 100K. Oh, hey. Maybe this will be easy. <laughs> Maybe. We put a lot of stuff out here, though. There's going to be nothing left for inside. There better be. I think it's time to give the people what they want. More shutters? <laughs> I think we should do the stable. I think I could put some shutters in here somewhere. Hmm. What you thinking? Thinking I can't wait to paint these ceilings. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Fine, just my arm, I'll do it now. All you have to do is go to flooring, click one of the two new ceiling icons, either ceilings by tile or ceilings by room, select a floor. The new beam ones are kind of iconic. And then just place it on the room you want. I am so happy that that is a part of the new base game update. White ceilings would have been so not the vibe in here. Now if they can just make it where you can paint the underside of roof eaves. Or use wallpaper. Oh, the possibilities. Love this update. Why don't we draw attention to the ceilings by making it a feature? Second floor. Hayloft, but with open walkways. We can make them by adding these pretty railings and then just deleting the floor. And we get to add a cute ladder too. You have sold the dream. That looks amazing. Just wait till we add some hanging plants. Oh, oh my gosh. What things do we need to make this functional for horses? All we need is a hay bed for them to sleep here. You can build any sort of stall around it you want. So glad that it's more customizable instead of being like an object. These columns and spandrels are just mm. Ooh, two thumbs up, not just one. <laughs> Put yours up too. Oh, uh. There, now four thumbs up stamp of approval. That's a good one. I don't think we should put another stall here with the ladder. Yeah, it already feels sad enough because they don't have windows like on this side. Maybe we pivot? Preparing to pivot. Let's close this off. Uh, Let's stick with me. We leave this one with the ladder open and we make it like a cute little horse washing station. Oh, you're trying to trick me with cuteness. Is it working? Yes. Well, be prepared because I'm making this room even cuter. I want to do like a tack room. Isn't that what it's called? All well, the room that has all like the supplies, like the bridles and saddles and stuff. I don't know all the terms. We're from Texas, so we're horse adjacent. Ridden quite a few and even had neighbors who were horses. And neighbors who had horses. That's what I said. We never had the money to be horse girls, but we had the heart. The spirit. Stallion, Stallion of the, of the Cimarron. <laughs> We've cried so much over that movie. Now that's cinema. I don't know if it's all the spirit talk, but I am loving this. Thank you. Like you can hire ranch hands to help you out around the place. So I think they could store stuff here too. Perfect. What's something expensive we can hide in here? The devil bag of cash kind of blends in perfectly. Seems like a completely reasonable item to have. Where else are you going to store your bags of money? Exactly. I can also fit four saddles for the four stalls on that side. Then I think it makes sense to make these two stalls something else. Oh, oh, oh you're a genius. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, but you made me think of something, which is good. Why don't we make one of these stalls for the mini goats and the other for the mini sheep? I am a genius. What if I stick one on top of the hay bales here? That's real goat energy. Wait, this sheep is $2,000? I'll put two in. I've got an even better idea. What if we do three and then one different one? Then he's the reverse black sheep of the family. <laughs> he's adopted just like us. Oh, <laughs> no, I love him. This might be the prettiest reveal shot we've ever done. I am just like floored by this or ceilinged. <laughs> yeah, ceiling. <laughs> as much as I just want to make this a hayloft and call it a day, I've got terrible news. Well, don't say it. Let's just add the hay and be done. There's the problem, though, because all the hay is a debug and costs nothing. Well, except like the rugs. So we just add a million rugs and we say they pull it from the floor. Oh, I have a different plan. So I might say a better plan. I don't know. Mine was pretty good. This side stays hay, but what if this side becomes the ranch hand hangout zone? The name already has me interested. I'm thinking this could be like a little bunk room where they can rest or crash if they need to stay the night. Since all the woods match up in this pack, do you think we can make it look built in with some columns? Oh my gosh, I'm trying that immediately. <laughs> Pieces where things just fit like all built in make my brain tingle. Like that clothes storage fitting perfectly. Come on. <laughs> I went ahead and gave them all little shelves so they can all have little things. Let's have them all match their personalities. Like this one can be a gardener. This one can be a bookworm. This one can be a musician and this one can be on time punctual pete they call him <laughs> that's from on the other side i think can we make little stalls the idea like that of course we can don't forget the toilet paper oh 
finally a challenge where it's a good thing that this cost 50 simoleons. We should put one that goes over and one that goes under in the separate stalls. <laughs> we just have a little something for everyone. I did the same thing that I did with the bunks this time with the showers, but I'm going to do a different cabinet, one that has like bath stuff in it. We're going to have to do a whole house like that sometime where everything's just a little nook. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I had thoughts on these rooms, but I have no clue on this one. <laughs> Hey, I have an idea. No. Or maybe this is just the chill and relaxing zone. Oh, cute. We can give one of these gorgeous cast iron stoves, a guitar, and a TV. I will obviously be sizing down the most expensive one. Does that TV look a little... I'll add a frame so it blends in. Oh yeah, that's nice. We can't forget a games table so that they can lose all their simoleons to each other. Maybe that's where that money bag from downstairs came from. Isn't it crazy how everything we do just makes sense? I'm putting a bunch of horse championship trophies around like they're displaying their winnings. You're only putting up the best ones. Uh, okay, no, there's a bronze one. Where? It's just down here. They're very proud of it. I'm just finishing off this side with a little bit of styling, including this bulletin board. This this one doesn't actually function, but we did add a jobs board to the back porch. Your Sims can get horse gigs, hire ranch hands, and even adopt horses from here. Why is it the spaces you never planned on doing turn out to be the cutest? That's just Sims building law. Now tell me why we finished one out of three buildings and we're not even close to a third out of a million. Don't forget the plan course the plan everything will work out in the end we're just gonna focus on making things pretty and like a little bit on the money i'm gonna worry about the money a lot i can't believe we're finally moving into the house house part of this build but i still want to take some inspo from the stables oh you want to add some stalls in here sure i'm thinking i actually want like what's the word for the the tall ceilings? Vaulted ceilings? Vaulted ceilings! <laughs> what did you think it was? Lofted. Oh my gosh, you have halos on the brain. <laughs> you know, if we do the vaulted ceiling up front in like the living room and dining room section, then we can have a lofted section in the back, which means that we can add more columns, columns and spandrels. That looks so nice. And imagine the view from like these super tall windows. You will be thinking about the windows, window girl. I want something that makes the entry like the entry. Should we add a creepy doll room? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Everybody's gonna get that reference, right? Oh yeah, yeah, No yeah. need to explain any further. You don't need the context, <laughs> but we will give it to you. Growing up, we had this weird room. It was like up in a dormer at the front of our house and it was visible, but inaccessible. And our mom- Who is definitely watching this. We love you so much, mom. Close your ears. But she would find a ladder and this ladder would disappear from the house any other point. And she would get that ladder and she would climb up there, usually with an object that was somewhat holiday related and then a rocking chair and one creepy doll that would sit in that chair and it would just stare out at you for like the entirety of the year. I like the detail up here. Yeah, but maybe we should skip the doll. Or we could add the no. No. <laughs> no. 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 I'm not saying no. <laughs> I do like how light and bright it is in here. We could still do the paneling just in like a lighter shade. Ooh. Oops, oh, not the distressed one. <laughs> I'm already distressed. We don't need the paneling to be too. <laughs> Since we have both the vertical and the horizontal slats in this pack, why don't we just mix and match them? Thought I was gonna hate it, but it actually looks great. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I want to make the fireplace look like it goes all the way up. So I'm gonna add the matching wallpaper all the way up to the ceiling and the matching columns as well. Look how cozy the couches look. <sighs> Give us anything with pillows. We're gonna be obsessed. We can look through all the rugs. We got two big rugs in this pack and both have a ton of swatches with really cool patterns. They gave us a nice long dining table, which is perfect for over here. I am gonna use these chairs in so many builds. And of course we need another rug. You can never have too many. Of course not. You kind of wish I had fringe. No, I do. Look, that's like four rugs underneath and then another one on top. Exactly. Now we've paid for five rugs. Was this your strat the whole time? We're gonna spend so much money. <laughs> well, then we might as well put some under the living room one too. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. I just love the indigenous items that they added in. It is so nice to always see more representation. I like that book. You should love this book. It's $750. That is the official book of the ranch. It <laughs> shall be going everywhere. Speaking of books, I'm adding this set to the mantle and using these like wooden horse figurines as bookends. I didn't even know we had those. I know, look how cute they are. They're like a craft. Item. The more horses we can add, the better. Adding a chess table up front here because it just feels right. You know, it does have those like horsey pieces on it, right? Even more horses! <laughs> what is this space? You've got the best view in the house from up here. So I'm thinking this is like an observation deck. I'm just going to add a bunch of couches so people can 
stare. Let's use a different swatch. Cow, cow print. print. I wish they had given us a rug in this fabric too. A little faux cow print rug in this would have been amazing. For those of you who like to make sure we put a light switch in every room, I would just like to assure you that they definitely will be here in this one. All these switches are get swatched. We can do the fancy light switch plate hack where you take a painting and size it all the way down so it fits behind your light switch. And just like that, $40 becomes two grand. We could do this on all of them. Mm -hmm. Just like putting money in the bank. We're investing early. I cannot believe this is all just horse pack and base game. It has such presence. It's huge, but it still has warm vibes. This kitchen is going to feel like a cozy little cave under here. We should lean into that. Should we just go like all stone? The cozy vibes are getting a little lost with how big this space is. How many cabinets is too many cabinets? What if this space becomes like a pantry? Smart, smart. Then we could put a lot of like pricey appliances in there. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to. Have you checked the price on these? Are those the cheapest in the game now? I can't believe I'm going to sit here and complain about something being decently priced, but this is really bad for us. <laughs> it's not good. We'll just add a bunch of upper cabinets too. Don't forget to click the cog icon for your cabinets too to see all of the different variations that there are, including this really cute dish one. We could have missed that. I think the island will feel more a part of the space if we add some columns. That is looking... Hold, hold, hold. What if we take these lights, size them down, and then we add three of them across the beam? Looking amazing is what I was going to say, and now it's even amazing -er. If there's one thing this ranch needs to run, it's coffee. <laughs> that door is going to get worn out with ranch hands coming and going here, getting to go cups all day. Do we use the barn door with the grate for the pantry? Why does that look so chic against the siding? We actually got a lot of useful kitchen clutter in this pack, including the holy grail, a stack of plates. Number of hours we have wasted just stacking white plates. <laughs> this is so good. I could cry. <laughs> Your sim is definitely just going to want to clean up these debug mason jars whenever you're in live mode because they'll probably start to smell, but they look so cute right now and I'm not going to apologize. You know, we can make up for it a little bit by adding in a trash can. We have the perfect one. We have the barrel. This is the winery. You think we can get away with putting in the VIP bucket? Oh, that's different than I remember. I hate it. <laughs> we'll find somewhere else to fit it in, I'm sure. Yeah, in the garbage can. <laughs> Favorite kitchen to date. I love it so much. I'm concerned for future kitchens we do. <laughs> Me too. What's something really expensive we can fit in this windowless room? Is it weird that I know exactly what we can do? Depends on what it is. Why don't we do a whole movie theater? We can use the expensive TV. You're on it. Can we raise like a platform here for double decker seating? Heck yeah. And I would say we even highlight it with another beam. Mm, I'm never going to say no to that. I like this dark swatch. I feel like this whole room should be the darkest wood shade for like optimal movie viewing experience. There she is the big one. Let me pop some red curtains around her. I like it. It's like she's got a little stage. I think we could go more custom. Gotta add some cabinets to the top and bottom. Now I want open shelves. That's gonna take forever. I'm gonna try to hack it because I don't want to do it. I'm taking these pre-done bookshelves and I'm just gonna slide them right in there and raise them up with the nine key. I'll disguise this like cut off stuff at the bottom with just more items. And some sized up fence posts from debug on the ends. And there you go. That was impressive. And expensive. Even better. <laughs> I added some recliners down here and now I'm adding couches up here for maximum comfort options. That's where I'm going to be. She's a lounger. <laughs> these tables are great because it gives me a place to put one of these little iPads. It's for the fancy TV. It's not because we're desperate to spend cash. We're just going for realism. What do we add up here? Snacks. Oh, so you're getting munchy too. It's been hours. <laughs> I feel like this cow. He gets it. Well, oh, that reminds me. I wanted to add movie posters to the wall. But food. Again, these just look a lot dinkier than I want them to. How about this instead? That's not quite what I was going for. No, look at the frame. We delete the wall. Grab our movie poster and then use the nine key to raise it up until it sits on top. Add your wall back and you got yourself a fancy new frame. This is better than what I wanted. Now it looks like they have like silver belt buckles on them. So on theme. And also each of those frames is 4K. It was all part of the plan. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, I didn't mean the plan all caps. I just meant like in general the plan. Oh yeah, just the plan. One last thing to finish it out. How amazing would it be to sit back while you're watching your movie, look up and you see the night sky with like shooting stars and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's just magic. Our first ever movie theater. It's kitsch, but it's cute. <laughs> that's how I feel. And it was good on the budget too. Yeah. We have one more side on this level. This is massive. I have no clue what to do. Tag me in. Absolutely. <laughs> we need something that has multiple parts, but fits all in one space is kind of pack specific. You're gonna have to leave this horse to water. Are you the horse in this scenario? I'm always the horse. I'm thinking 
dance hall saloon. Why is that the most fun thing you've ever suggested? <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you like it. Let's section off this little area for a bathroom. If we're going saloon, how do we feel about log cabin walls? That looks so moody. That's the vibe we're going for <laughs> in this club. Don't want to do the same stalls we did in the barn. What if we did curtains for this one? Privacy is more questionable, but the cuteness is there. I mean, what really matters? <laughs> this might be the first time these thin little baby curtains have ever fit anything. <laughs> we haven't found a window, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's do these mirrors and then every time someone visits the saloon they put like little sticky notes up here that's the kind of story we like to see but maybe not the hygiene it's all about the lore you probably guessed it and you'd be right i'm going to use these beams to frame up the new dance floor why does that fit perfect in there like a glove of course we're a nectary so we've got to have a little bar over here we're a giant one you know i'm not mad at it what's this side gonna be we still need a place for the tunes no i love a music <laughs> corner this is the perfect spot for the new upright piano and it also gives us a chance to add in another fiddle. What if we really lean into that? I'm already leaning pretty hard here. You know how a lot of these kinds of places have guitars that like hang on the wall? Uh-huh. What if we add a shelf here and then we add every single guitar and fiddle swatch that we have in this game? That's like 80K. And string lights. But these are for fun, not for money. Adam, you've earned them. We need a lot of tables, but I am not in love with any of these. What if we take this table? Ugh. Okay, don't make that face. Let me cook. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat what you're cooking. Just wait. I'm going to size it down, and then I'm going to stick a barrel on top. Oh, my plate. That's really cute. I'm not sure if they function as tables anymore, but they do function as seats. No one needs to be eating in here. They need to be dancing. Yeah, get out on that floor. <laughs> I believe we're missing a focal point. We do have some decals, and they have, like, some sign options. What if we size this up? That is the perfect finishing touch. Forget this being the observation deck. This is now the party deck. Have we off camera secretly decorated a little powder room and a few hallways? We have been building for hours and to be very honest, the amount of footage is starting to get scary. But enough of that, let's do a bedroom. Why not just do more? How many platforms is too many platforms? Cause I'm thinking that we elevate this bed area over here. Not too many, that looks great. Well then how about another one here so that we could have like a little fireplace with a hearth. I hate to say it, but that might be one too many. Yeah, it's probably a bit in the way. Maybe we should just put it like in the corner. Ooh, perfect. Section. New bed alert, new bed alert. It actually gave us a few options for beds in this one. It's actually gonna be kind of hard to pick just one. I want that ready. one. Oh, okay. Well, or it's really easy. I don't have to say it, right? Oh, sure. But you could just tell me so I don't have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to add shelves to the wall. I should have known. Uh, it's just something about this wallpaper with the beadboard. It's like screaming for a shelf to go across it. Yeah, this new wallpaper is great. I do wish they had given us a couple of options with like some pattern wallpaper up top. Oh, don't talk about that. That would have been so cute. I guess we'll just have to add our own art with the new painting. I'm obsessed with this one. We always want new art in game and this is one of the best ones by far. So good. I've got an idea for the landing area. Can you fit anything in there? Two words walk-in closet. That is three words. Is walk-in not hyphenated? Ooh. Ooh. Those wardrobes with the two clothing racks? That looks so nice. I'm also gonna raise up this base game shoe rack so that it sits in the bottom here. It even has boots. It's got everything. Mostly just shoes, but also everything. <laughs> another bathroom, another excuse to use a terracotta tile. Don't ask us why we are loving this look for some reason. <laughs> we can't be stopped. It's a nice change of pace to actually get to use some of the expensive things in a build. Yeah, I feel like our budget challenges usually lean on the lean side, so we don't even get to see some of these more expensive things. Honestly, some really expensive stuff would help us out right now. We need a bathroom fixture set made out of pure gold. What about these mirrors? You know, it'll do. In a pinch, she'll do. She'll do. <laughs> Sadly, they didn't give us a like, short wall height single barn door, but they did give us more swatches on this base game door that matched the wood swatches in this pack. Also, they added a bunch of new swatches to like some base game floorings and wallpapers, which is always a good addition. They should add some more swatches to this rug next. That would help us out a ton. We use this thing so much. <laughs> okay, you know I love it. I was a little nervous about the funky shape at first, but I think we made it work. Finally, kids room time. Yes, finally time to explain yourself. Like, why did you make me leave all this room just for a kid? Well, it's actually two kids. They're gonna share a space in this big old house. They have to. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> 
course I want to paint the ceilings with the new cloud ceiling paint, but I couldn't choose between this or this. And I'm not going to. Interesting. Tell the class. I'm adding this beam to separate the room. Then this side is going to be sunset unicorn side. And this side is going to be blue sky horse side. I claim unicorn. No, I'm the unicorn. <laughs> I thought you said you were the horse earlier. I didn't know my options. Look at the little beds. If you like these, just wait till you see the new rug. <gasps> it's a horse. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this wallpaper, I love. But this wallpaper is the only swatch of blue sky green grass that we have. And it has this silly little border. Not that bad. I'm going to cover it up with decals. As long as you're spending money, I am fine with you putting up as many of these as you want. You're going to regret that really quick. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should, uh, <laughs> should I qualify? Should I, uh... <laughs> we can give this one a little craft table so she can draw horses. I like that it's right on the line. Like she's willing to share with her sister, but only a little. You give him an inch. <laughs> <laughs> we could fit the castle here. Ooh, sized down. <laughs> Look at how giant these things are. It's really great that they still function at this size. The real thing I want to add is this new barn. Oh my gosh. First we made a big barn and now we have a little barn. It's a baby barn. <laughs> we can add a little dragon. It needs a knight then. There is one stuck inside of the castle. But this one cost 8,000 simoleons. Size him down and get him in here. We can put him opposite the other one. No, no. Put him in the bedroom and have him staring at himself in the mirror. Money and funny? That's it's worth it. <laughs> totally necessary. I was waiting until we were done decorating before I added the last things that I've been dreaming about. You sound excited. You're gonna be so excited too because I'm gonna put these cloud lights everywhere. It looks like they're coming out of the sky. That's everything I hoped it would be. The vision came through in here and you got us over the halfway mark for the budget. Heck yeah. Maybe we won't need the plan. Oh no, we're definitely gonna need the plan still. The plan is in motion. So... We've just looked at the recording time and we just hit the 12 hour mark. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> We've only done half of the rooms. We're at half of the budget. I think it's only right that that means that this needs to be a two-parter. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's a cliffhanger. I'm sorry if you hate this, but we have to do it. I don't know how we're going to edit this. Nah, they're going to love it. So if you want to see the next part, then go ahead and give us a like with that thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss it. Comment below what you think about the new pack too. We're having such a blast. We'll see you for the next one. Bye partners. <laughs>